Hey, welcome. And this is an introduction to the Bible that I have imported into Rome. As you can see on the left hand side, I have two translations imported. I'm going to click on King James and uh, then I get to the table of contents for King James. I have both, both the Old and the uh, New Testament imported. And uh, here, if I open up one of the chapters, say I open up uh, Genesis uh, chapter 3, then I see that chapter 3 is uh, nicely imported uh, with all the verses. Um, if I hover over the numbers here, you can see that uh, these are aliases. And uh, these aliases, so let me just show you, this is how the alias is formed. Uh, these aliases, if I click on them, I'm going to shift click on this. It will take me, it opens up the right uh, sidebar and it takes me to the page for the verse. Uh, and on this page, I have the cross references listed as well as I have uh, both of the translations as uh, block references. So if I click in here, you will see that first of all, uh, this is a block reference uh, to this verse right here, as well as you will see that uh, uh, this is an attribute. Uh, so Genesis 3 is clickable and it would take me back uh, to Genesis 3. Uh, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the cross references. I'm going to click on the first one, I'm shift clicking. So it again opens in the right uh, sidebar and it takes me to uh, Genesis chapter 2, uh, 16. And I can see the verse here and I see the further uh, cross references from here. Uh, should I want to read the entire chapter, I can click on Genesis 2 and it will open up. Uh, Genesis chapter 2 uh, and I can uh, read the chapter. So this is the basic functionality uh, of the Bible. Now uh, a daily use case would be something like this. Uh, I open uh, the uh, page or the chapter of the Bible I'm reading in the sidebar and I have my daily notes open and what I would do is I would take the block references uh, for the, uh, the verses that I am uh, reading currently, and I would uh, copy them within the same block, uh, but one under the other. And the reason I'm doing it this way is then the notes I'm taking uh, regarding these verses uh, that I'm reading at the moment uh, are going to uh, be associated with all three verses. So these are my my notes and uh, maybe some more, etc. I can take notes. So why is uh, taking notes this way good? Um, so the reason this is uh, helpful is because uh, if I navigate back uh, to Genesis 2 and open up uh, Genesis 2, I will see uh, this small number here uh, highlighting me that I have two references. If I click on this, then it opens up the references and for one, I see yes, uh, with the verse I have a reference uh, here, but more importantly, I can see today's note. Now you can imagine that if you are uh, taking notes on the same verse uh, in different settings, maybe, um, you are doing daily meditations, maybe you're preparing for a sermon, maybe uh, you're taking notes at a conference or Bible study or whatever. Um, over time, you will have several notes regarding the same verse. And uh, this way, Rome will bring all of those notes uh, together when you're uh, looking at uh, the verse. So that was a very brief introduction to how this imported Bible works. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.